Hello guys, welcome to tutorial 4 on shell scripting. In this tutorial, we are going to study the use of if else as well as comparison operators. So let's begin. If else is used whenever we want to check a particular condition. That is, whenever a particular situation, there can be two different outputs. One can be true and another can be false. So we want to check for that particular condition and evaluate accordingly. The general syntax is if Remember now that there is a space before the square bracket as well as after the square bracket. So if space square bracket space and then you write the condition. Once you have written the condition you again need to give the space and then close the bracket. So always remember to give the space on both sides of the first bracket and before closing the second bracket. Now if the condition is true then we enter the then part and all the statements that you want to execute if the condition is true you will write here between then and else. Now if the condition is false then all the statements will follow the else part. So you can write all the false statements or all the statements that you want to execute if the condition is false in the else part. And once the else part is complete all the statements you have written you need to close the if using fi opposite of if. So remember the main things are if, condition, then, else and fi to close. Now let us look at an example to see how we can use the if else condition. The question is check if the number entered by the user is greater than 10 or not. Alright, so it's a very simple scenario. We will ask the user to enter number and check whether it is greater than 10 or not. So let's write a script if else dot sh. Now I need to get the value from the user. So echo enter the number, read the number into the variable number, right? Now if space bracket space number is greater than 10, okay? Just remember that we will not use greater than equal to sign. We will not use this or this or less than, okay? We use GT. GT is greater than. I am just going to show you all the comparison operators that we can use. So if the condition we have checked, the number is greater than 10, then, so if it is true, then do what? You can simply print up a message, else equal number is small. And close the if by writing fi. Save it. Change permissions. And now run it. Enter the number. Let us suppose I number 5. So number is small. Next time 15. Well done. Right? Always remember to check both the true as well as the false part. To evaluate the condition. One of the common comparison is arithmetic comparison. Okay. Now this is different from the other languages like C or C++ where we simply use the less than or equal to sign or greater than sign. Here for equal to we are going to use minus EQ. For not equal to we are going to use minus NE. Greater than this I have shown you with in the example we use minus GT. Greater than equal to minus GE less than lt less than equal to le if the expression is false we simply use the exclamation mark with the expression all right if you are doing string comparison then you will use equal to sign but with space on both sides remember if you don't give space on either side of the equal to this this will become assignment to the variable okay so if you remember that whenever we assign value to the variable we do not give space on either side of the equal to. So this will evaluate to true if both the strings are equal. And if you want to check whether they are not equal then you will use exclamation mark equal to. If you want to check whether the string is not null then you will use minus n and then the string. And finally minus z if the string is null. So it will return true if the string is null. Now there is another set of uh, conditions that you can check on a file. 
these are very handy because a lot of questions can come like this where you want to check whether the name passed is of a file or not is of a directory or is the file writable is the file executable so you can use minus d and then the name and it will return true if the name is of a directory similarly you can use minus f if you want to check whether the name specified is of a file or not minus e if you want to check whether the file exists or not minus r if the file has a readable permission similarly for all other values now let's write another script write a script to check if a file exists if not then create it now remember i want to check whether the name entered is of a file or not so echo enter name of a file read name i need to check whether the file exists or not so i will use minus f and then the variable name if exists then echo file exists else if it doesn't exist then we need to create it so we'll use the touch command dollar name and close if so how it is working i have entered the name the name will be said in the variable name then we we'll check if minus f minus f is for name whether this name is of a file or not if it is true then it will print file exist if it is not true means the name does not belong to an existing file then we are going to do what we are going to create it so i have used touch command okay so just also display a message echo new file created now before we run the program let us see which are the existing files so these are the list of all the files that are there in my system now if i run the program if else 1.sh enter name of a file so let us suppose it is arg.sh file exists but if i enter some name which doesn't exist 1 2 3 4 new file created so let us check yes 1 2 3 4 this new file is created now it is time for you to test yourself so the first question is write a script that takes two command line arguments so remember to pass arguments at command line so we'll use dollar 1 dollar 2 check whether the name passed as first argument is of a directory or not if not then create a new directory with the name passed as second argument so just pause this video and try this question out okay so i hope that you have got the answer correct in case you are not able to do it or you just want to check your answer this is the exact code that is required so as per the question we need to pass two arguments at the command line the first argument is required to be checked so if minus t this means i want to check whether it's a directory dollar 1 so whatever value you have passed as first argument we are checking whether it's of a directory the name is of a directory or not if yes then echo directory exists else you are going to create a new directory so mkdir with the name passed as second command line argument so dollar 2 and you can simply print up a message directory created and close the if using fi now the next question is write a shell script which checks the total number of arguments passed if the argument count is greater than 5 display the message too many arguments so just in case you don't know how to count the total number of arguments please refer to the video on the command line arguments and i'm sure that you will be able to do it very easily now the next thing is the use of else if or lf in case of shell scripting lf is used whenever you want to check a condition multiple times now this is the general syntax let's first look at the syntax and then we will have a example also so normally we are going to start with the same way if then you write the condition then the statements now lf so means if the first condition is not true then you want to check another condition so you write lf not full else only el and then 
I F if L F the second condition then the statements similarly you might want to check another condition so you can use L if again if you want so that you can do a number of times finally there will be an else part because every if will go with the else part so else the statements and finally close it with F I so now let us look at an example the question is write a script that checks if the argument passed at command line is whether of a file or a directory so I want to check whether the command line argument is a file name or a directory name so let us see how we'll do it so since the argument is going to be passed at command line so first I will check whether the argument $1 is a file if yes then echo name is of a file else if so l if if it is not a file name then is it a directory name remember to give space then echo name is of a directory else so if it is neither a file nor a directory then what neither file nor directory all right and finally we're going to close it using fi now let us check how it works so i have a lot of files and one directory with the name dir let us first run it with a file name so this is the script name of the script so one two three four is a file so name is of a file dir is the name of a directory yes name is of a directory and if I write something else let's suppose dir123 neither file nor a directory exists all right so this is how we can use the lf now finally one more question for you to test yourself write a shell script to read a month name from the user check if the name entered is either august or october so I will just give you a hint how to do it remember you will be required to do string comparison so just go back to the point where I showed you how to compare strings and then you will be easily able to do it and you will be required to check two conditions whether the name is August or October so you will be required to use LF now one last thing before we end sometimes you want to do logical comparison that whether multiple conditions are true or any one of the conditions is true then we can use logical or or logical and whenever you want to use logical or you need to use double pipe symbol and whenever you want to use the logical and you will be required to use the double ampersand sign now if we consider the same question where we checked whether the name passed at the command line is of a file or a directory I can have another approach for example if you were required to check whether the name passed at the command line exist and it doesn't matter whether it's a file or directory you just want to check whether it exists or not so I can modify the same script now I'm going to check two conditions using or so minus f dollar one this is the first condition so if it is a file or a directory you simply want to check whether it exists that's it so if either one of them is true you can simply print entry exists else echo no such entry similarly you might want to check whether both the conditions are true at the same time for example you might want to check whether the name passed at the command line is of a file so minus f dollar one and at the same time is it readable so minus r so you want both the conditions to be true okay if both the conditions are true then else so let's run it now before you actually run this program let's make sure that there are two files one that satisfies the criteria and another one that does not so I have a file one two three four so it's a file and it has read permission so let's run the program if 
and dot sh file name is one two three four okay so there is some error let's see what is the error in the code okay i have used tuple brackets here all right both are true now if i change the permissions on this change mode u minus r on one two three four and I run it partially true because now I have denied read permission okay to the user so I hope that the concept of if else is clear and you will be in a position to use various comparison operators also so in the next video we are going to discuss about the loops till then keep watching this tutor and please do share and subscribe see you in the next tutorial Thank you.